<laughs> Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl in that. And your boy, Stanley. Listen! Yeah. Y'all told us that there was gonna be fire. My girlfriend, my good, good girlfriend, she been texting me since last night talking about some. You gotta call in to work because it's so right good. Here. And I said, what? And then she gonna tell me this evening, don't stop nowhere when you leave work. You need to go straight home. Man. You know what, Nicole? I, I'm with you on that one. Man. Oh, what's the hymnal for the day? Hey, this morning when I pop, rose, pop. yeah, I didn't have you no all doubt. All beat. You I, all beat. I don't really care. Yeah. yeah. You want me I to do it right? You, you got to do it right. So what's the beat style? The good church members want to hear it and hear it right. They can't get in the spirit of you singing it wrong. All right. Hold on. How the woman do Try it? Try it again. This morning when I rose, yeah. Boom. I did, yeah, you got your part. This morning. I ain't a singer. When I rose, yeah. Hey, I here. didn't have no. No worry about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He yeah. gonna try to make me sing a song solo anyway. But anyway, I ain't a singer. You ain't gonna. Hey, y'all ain't gonna talk about me in the comments. I'm not a singer either. Lies, I you sing. sing better than me. Yeah, I ain't no single singer. I sing. Man, so, it was a whole lot of hum parts turning up. The church yeah. people need love too. Yeah, but yeah, but that's all I'm gonna say for right now. But I'm trying to tell you, hey. I appreciate Greenleaf for this one right here. So y'all might appreciate it for different reasons. But when you come from a church world, people think that church people all they do is just bang, bang, bang to reproduce. Now we some freaks too. Now, now see. I know we're talking about Carissa now. Can I can I be real with that right there? I know. I know, Stan. Go ahead. Please, please, please. The only way she sucked on that piece of candy <laughs> because she got that got done job or that pastoral position, first lady position at Triumph. Where was the licking of the lollipop when he had the church without walls? He did not get it. <laughs> Never mind. I, we go get into the review. Which means she lick <laughs> lollipops only on situations where she feel like she gonna benefit. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it one hundred. Let him do something that she don't like. She gonna shut it down. <laughs> he gonna have desert ding. Just like they said on on what you call it. He gonna have desert dingling the moment he shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> am I right about it, y'all? Am I right about it? Let the church say amen. You was a fool and a half for that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I won't impress. I won't impress. You taking this personal? I won't impress. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get into the review, right? So what had happened was we're not gonna go on water. We're gonna be all over the place. See, Lionel Richie, Pastor Lionel Richie. He decided to bring his hind parts all the way down there to bishops and them to basically rat out his god knowing son. Because why? He decided to pay his son an unexpected visit, but surprise, surprise, the surprise was for you. Uh huh. He took and found out that um Aaron is gays. And Aaron, not only is he gays, Aaron had Kevin in the god Kevin apartment with him. And he said, I knew it won't no roommate situation, no homeboy situation, because it won't but one, one bedroom. One bedroom, one stove, one dishwasher, and one refrigerator. And God darn it. Huh? I said. Studio. So he came to tell on Aaron, but the reaction that he got wasn't the reaction he was looking for, because they was looking at him like, oh, okay. Oh, we already knew about Kevin. So he said, so you knew about Kevin? Yeah, yeah we but, already knew about Kevin. But we ain't know that them two had... Yeah, they're getting up. hooked up like that. So, thanks be to God, see God answers prayer because we've been looking for Kevin. Yeah. And we've been praying. We've been saying, Kevin, let's just make sure Kevin my right. I don't care what Kevin out there doing, but he do need to come back and check on his baby. Yeah. That's the one do, thing yeah. I do say. Yeah, you can't you can't escape that responsibility because you're confused and mad right now that at uh what her name is, Charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still got a baby 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 son. Son, right? Yes, yeah, son. He yeah. Cute as a button too. Yeah, he is. But did y'all peep out Bishop Greenleaf, Bishop Lester Wallace? He was drinking on that brown looker. Oh, he needed it. Him and First Lady, this whole guy doing episode was uh -huh. suck, suck. That's why she was tripping. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's why she yeah. hey. She was all up in her feelings on shit. Won't that dark looker do it? All up in her got, but we gonna, we gonna get into it. Woo! So the next scene was, I said I wanna do scene by scene, and I'm over here doing it. Yeah. Clarissa, we see, 
that she down there like my husband would say sucking on the candy cane. And like he said, I agree. The yep. only reason she down there sucking on his candy cane because she wants him to go off to triumph on his first day on a high note as uh -huh. a senior pastor yeah. and I'm as the first lady. And I was trying to figure out, so this wasn't Sunday because she even called in to work and yeah. said, hey, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to be there when I get there. Yeah, but right now I got to take care of this and then I'm going to go to triumph with my husband. And Jacob was like, what? Huh? I didn't know that the wife was going to come with yeah, today. I was going to go handle all that myself. Yeah. Power play one on one. Mm -hmm. So they get on over there to triumph. And the first person that we see Jacob is in a contact with is this lady that's on the, she's the um, treasurer. Trish treasurer. Trustee. And she's a cutie. So you know, Clarissa uh. is already in her God doing feelings. Already because jealous. She cute. And she just Jacob's type. You know, she got little light skins on them. Because, you know, yeah. Jacob do the white. But she, she'll pass. And this girl, I can see that she ran past the skanks. Oh, yeah. Because Bishop, I mean, um, no, he ain't a bishop. I, I think he ran up in her. I think so, too. I think so, too. But, well, uh, the but, first thing that she told Jacob, because Jacob had a meeting with everybody, basically laying out what he wanted to do. And basically, he wants to bridge a gap between Triumph and the Church Without Walls, bring the homeless people in, make them feel comfortable, you know, establish some programs that will include them. But this lady told him, no. Nah. Don't nobody know the financial situation about this church, but you, Skanks, his wife, and me. And I yeah. suggest highly suggest that you would take my advice and don't be doing no big programs for the next couple of years. Say, God darn, so they're going to have to be out in the cold for two more years? And Jacob was like, I will take that into consideration. consideration. And she walked off like, you best. Like, I'm the boss. And I said, if you don't check that half right there, and then <laughs> um, Jacob had to tell Clarissa, you know what? Don't don't even worry about her right there, because that's not my secretary. You gotta understand that yeah. that's just the treasurer. I said, mm-hmm. You peeked that already? Cause I peeked it already. Like you ain't ready to be no first lady. She ain't. She took got doing jealous and too insecure. jealous. Man, probably about 35 to 40 percent of the women that are gonna want your husband. Can you handle it? But this the part trip me out. I ain't realized that um First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks was still going to be a part of Triumph. Yeah, I didn't she know that. She was yeah. like, my husband might have ran off, but I'm still here. But the problem but with I her... Know she, I know what it is. Why she's still there. She need that paycheck. Yeah. She said, it's my job. The, the ladies already said, I hope you keep um, Pastor, um, I mean, uh, First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks on as the... Um, what's she? The praise music? and worship leader. The praise and worship leader. Because she can sing, boy. And she's is anointed. Uh-huh. So right there, Clarissa was looking like... I thought she was gone. I said, mm. okay, so now you jealous because the church members still want her here. Yeah. And then there was said at some point that they were standing in the office. I can't remember if it was, whose office was it? I don't remember. That was on um, her office. Standing in her office. And this girl came in and said, first lady, both of them turned around. Yes. She said, nah, uh, first lady skanks. Keisha Cole Skanks. See what, what, see what Carissa don't realize is that you can't come off the street one day and expect to get the respect that freaking First Lady Skanks had being there for years. Yeah. You got to earn that buzzkin. Yeah, and you can't They don't trust you right now. For they know you just there for the fame and the fortune, which you are, to be on the spotlight. So right now, you can't be trusted. You just the other lady at the church. Um, I don't trust you. No. Nah. So, um, what the hell else happened? So then we see Aaron. Aaron had came into town. Yeah. Because the daddy had asked Bishop, say, hey, my son respects you as a man of God. And why don't you talk to him and try to talk him out of being gay? And I said, what? The bishop was like, Bishop said, mm, oh, I can't is, do that. This is not how this goes. Yeah, it's going to work this way. He said, but you know what? I'll have a talk with him. So Aaron was talking to Bishop and he told Bishop, he said, listen, I respect you. But this is who I am. And that's the one thing I could appreciate about Aaron. Aaron was mm -hmm. like, this is how I am. Who I am. Mm -hmm. This is how it's going to be. You can talk into your you blue face. You can say what face. you want. This is who I'm going to be right here. And he was like, if I could change this, I would have. Mm -hmm. So Aaron asked him a, a great question. He said, if this was Jacob, 
would you treat him the way that my father is treating me right now? Bishop said no. Nope. Bishop Lester Wallace was like, no, no. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would love my son just the same. So then we saw that they had this meet. But I, I didn't know that Lana was going to be a part of that meet. Me I, I just thought that he was going to be talking to Bishop by himself. But I figured it out when he said when we go through <clears> these doors. <throat> Yeah, when he said we're going, that's when I knew. I was like, well, I said, well, who was going to be? I like, thought Kevin was going to be in there, too. Yeah, right. What, 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 I mean, I said, I knew the meeting wasn't going to go right. Well, see, this is what happens. When you got skid on you, shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah, keep you your just mouth take shut. the L. So you can bounce back. Because here, right here, right here, mm -mm. Lionel should have kept his hard parts wherever he came from, yep. and never said a word. If you got a problem with somebody, just pray to King Jesus like the old people say, <laughs> and leave it alone. Because he sat in that room, and he basically degraded his son, yep. told his son that he was less than, mm -hmm. and then told him, said, you know what, the only good thing about your mama dying the, the um, when she died was she didn't have to hear that you were gay. I was like, what kind of skit is that to tell your son? But he got him there. He said, she did know. He I said, oh, oh. oh. No, she I, didn't. Uh, I told her when I was 13, and I told her I wouldn't tell you because you couldn't handle it. And he said, but she also knew about you. Uh-huh. And all them little skeezers, women's that you had. Yeah. I said, she knew all, all them. He was like, he said, yeah, yeah, you. Uh-huh. Bishop Lester Wallace is sitting there like, yep. Women. So you sit there judging, and your son know you been like the hog twin said. Cream pie and everything you've seen with nuts hanging out. <laughs> so he gonna Lionel gonna turn around and look at um Bishop um Greenleaf and say, "Listen, I thought you would have had my back a little better than you just had it right here." So see, first of all, what you don't do is set up a meeting so that you can have somebody that's gonna be on your side yeah, and gang up I'm on somebody. Yep. No, 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 no. If you wanted somebody that was gonna be fair, first of all, you shouldn't have got your friend involved. Yeah, you should have went got... to a mutual party that didn't know neither one of y'all. Exactly. And that could talk to y'all so y'all could be on an even playing field. Exactly. But I give it to Bishop Greenlee. He mm -hmm. handled that goddamn yeah, thing. He, he didn't play the way he thought he was going to play. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he said, no. He said, right here, this is wrong. And you really need to consider why would your son choose that life? You think he would choose that? That was that was And powerful. that was so and I like powerful. How, I like how he started off. He said, in this situation, we need to figure out what the father's will is. I was like, go ahead now, Bishop. And that is something that I have always said and always questioned because I have a lot of gay cousins. Be and that's the first thing that he would say. Why would anybody choose to be abused, mm -hmm. talked about, mm -hmm. mistreated. Mm -hmm. Basically, every time you walk out your house, your life is on mm -hmm. the line. Yep. You know, you, you risk losing your family when you come out. You yep. risk losing all your friends. Why would we choose this? Yeah, and I know someone that, like when Erin said, I, I can't change this. She said, I've been trying to change this ever since I was 13. Yeah. I fasted, I prayed, I asked the Lord, and it hadn't went nowhere. This me. And I know somebody that, that said that they tried since they was young. They got hands laid on, water thrown on them, anointing oil thrown on them. They, were, they put them on the roof of the church and set the church on fire, but they just still didn't get delivered. Mm. So, sometimes you just have to just leave well enough alone. Because all of us got our stuff. Got a whole lot of stuff. All of us got our stuff. And I, I just I just hate the way parents treat their kids because they have because they're gay. They still your son, they still your daughter. And you better go hard and, in the paint. And for you it. gotta go hard in the paint because after all, you got some skeletons in your closet too, cause you ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. Huh? the church say amen but I'll you take, remember take an offering for that now yeah do you remember y'all know you remember because you remember all the skit i do in church <laughs> remember i asked this question and couldn't nobody ask it bishop looked and he said i want to know the answer oh yeah i want somebody to answer this for me because me and bishop be like right here i said what sin will get you sat down in church i said because Sin is on the equal playing field, right? Yep. Sin, yep. So, sin and post speech sin. Last time I checked, our entire praise team was overweight. Hey. I said all of us knuckles need to be sat down. And then we had special programs and everybody go downstairs and, and eat, eat seafood that's wine. Uh, uh huh. And eat too much, which is gluttony. Mm -hmm. Fish was without without the scales. Some of the first of the year, some of us putting kids on our tax that it ain't ours, so we can get another tax break to get some more money from the IRS. 
Mitchell said, I want to hear what y'all got to say. Everybody was uh -huh. like, well, well, just because you overweight don't mean that you got an eating problem. I said 95% of us do. Mm -hmm. I said, some of us might just have something going on. Yeah. I said, but not about set of us. We just, we, we just, yeah, we just don't put the fork down. We just eat till the whole plate is gone. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Oh, until but, yeah, that. nobody can answer that question. But anyway. So, Bishop Greenleaf go over there to First Lady. Go on. Talk to First Lady and say, because you know his wheels are turning by now. Yeah, he's What talking. women are we talking about? Because yeah. <laughs> this what happened. That's what Aaron said. Aaron said, listen, you going to talk about me, talk about what's going on with me, but just because I did it with a man and you did it with a woman, don't make it right. Don't make it. Said sin. He said sin is still sin. <laughs> so Bishop was like, let me go and ask First Lady May because First Lady May and Lionel's wife were good, good girlfriends. Yeah. So we thought, oh, uh, so good, good that? girlfriend. Yeah. She said, um, she, he went over there and asked her, said, do you know anything about these women? That Aaron was talking about, talking about some Lionel was messing with many, many women. And uh, she said, women? Women with the plural? Say, yeah, yeah women. Say. You could see First Lady get pissed as uh -huh, if you would have yeah. said that Bishop was out there yeah. sleeping with, where, where uh -huh. Coochie Cross at? Where yeah, she, been? she just, yeah, she, oh, she, but she, she'll be she, back. Yeah, she playing, yeah, she coming she back. She paid $10,000 in time, she coming back. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> she was like, no. You know, we talked about everything, and then she would have told me something like that. I would surely remember that. She, nah, and then he yeah. said, well, did you know that Aaron was gay? She said, God, no, I know, I didn't know that he was gay. And I said, no. Did she say? She said, did she tell you that um that Aaron was gay? He said, no. And she said, if I knew that, I sure wouldn't have put, a, put, put him down the hall with a cabinet. I said, see, see this is another thing, too, that y'all need to stop doing. Because for when I, I had thought about this once before. Every gay person don't want another gay person. Exactly. Like every straight person don't, don't want, want a straight, straight person. person. Yeah, no, we yeah. don't want. We don't walk down the street going, da, 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 I like them. Or, da, da, I like but you know them. what? Does, do you know either. what does that a lot? TV. TV does that. TV was, does that. Program people to that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know we grew up when they didn't talk about it. So when you first get exposed to it, that's what you think. Because I guess you think that there's so many. There's a limited picking. Yeah. That was out in the open back then. So that's what you thought. And so. First, they was like, oh, no, I, I didn't know nothing about this. So then we see um, Charity. Charity gets a phone call that she's supposed to, that um, Tamla Man wants her to go on the road with her to sing back up on her national tour. It's a 10-week tour. You, 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 you got you, a newborn. You get ready to do exactly, exactly like the Hall Twins say that Kevin did. You're going to leave your son to go sing. Back up. You better tell Tamla man take somebody else to the king. And nine out of ten, you ain't even gonna get paid. Now backup singers don't get paid. Yeah, you yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You get clout. Yeah, that and, and that's only if you can get heard some kind of way because when people singing backup, they had a whole team, not you. You remember that mother suck? Mm. Wanted yeah, us to no, sing yeah. back up for him. Yeah, that's that's a whole that's a whole I said, hell no. You the one getting paid. I'm not getting paid nothing. Yeah, I ain't singing no back up. But first you. lady tried to tell she said it out of anger though. Yeah, you ain't supposed to do it out of anger. You know, you're supposed to be slow to anger. That's what the scripture said. But first lady was pissed off when she found out that Lionel had women's <laughs> <laughs> and she won't the only she one. She won't the only one. one. But I'm like, all of them is judging Kevin and freaking uh, what you call it, Aaron. Aaron, like they skit don't stink. And all of them is, don't you know that's adultery right there? Even the fact you won in freaking Lionel. And evidently you still got some feelings. You still got some feelings. That's just like if I found out right now that my ex boyfriend. Cheated on me back in 99. And you get pissed off. It, why? Yeah. What different that gonna make? So I'm gonna roll up on him and say, Hey, you remember 99? You, you, you know what I'm gonna do? But like, you know what? You can go right on down there with him. With him? Yep. So if you all in your feelings like that, you need to yeah. go with him. Obviously, you still want him. Hmm. Hello, let the church say amen. Yeah, so Charity won't go on the road. First lady's not feeling it. But this the kicker. She want to take Marisol. She yeah. said, I need, the only person that I trust with my baby for that extended amount of time is Marisol. So if I take Marisol, then first lady said, well, who the hell gonna clean up around here? 
Yeah. Oh, uh, no. She got a guy doing yeah. job. And who gonna lead praise and worship while you gone? She said Colton. She was like, who? Colton. I said, yeah. Charity. Charity. Like, Charity, didn't you see they just fired him? Because <laughs> he got married. You think they're gonna bring... You think they're gonna bring him back as the guest praise and worship leader? Pay him a hundred dollars a Sunday to fill in? Because you obsessed to sing backup. It ain't it ain't the backup. It's Jabari. Yeah, that's what it is. She said, <laughs> first lady told her, said, let me tell you, it ain't worth it. To be following behind these men and pointing at <laughs> freaking Lionel and pointing at why you pointing the bishop for? Bishop ain't did nothing to you yet. It's get. Yet. Coach Cross ain't did it yet, but we don't know because they keep talking about Bishop's sketchy past and we don't yeah. know everything yet. We knew he burnt up that man out of that church. Yeah, he did commit murder. So. <laughs> <laughs> At Austin. Hey, but Cain killed Abel, so. Yeah, we like to keep bringing that skit up. You keep on bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw that Aaron had stopped by Charity's office to apologize to her because a little further in the, um, earlier in the episode, Bishop and First Lady were talking, and First Lady said, you know what, let me go ahead and get Charity caught up on what's going on before she hid down the street like she Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she do. <laughs> so when Aaron stepped into Charity's office, he said, not, not, not. He said, can I, can I step in? Can I help you with something? I mean, he said something that she just went off. Oh, and clean I said, off. Do she know? Evidently, First Lady or somebody they got to her and let her know. Yeah. And she was like, you know what? You asked me, could you help me when you were my lawyer? When you was helping me sign in my divorce, this, that, and the third. And she was just like, and Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. And he said, you know what? Kevin is sorry for how everything turned out. He's sorry. She was like, no, no, no. Oh. I would have turned out to be a lesbian. The only thing that I would not have done was abandon my child. And that's what he did. He abandoned his son. And I said, for one charity, I agree. True. Yeah. There was no reason. Yeah. But I still want to know what that letter said. Because did they get to charity to tell her or is she going off of the letter? Did she know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But she ripped Aaron a new one. Yes. Yeah, and I said, Aaron came all the way this way. To get chewed out. <laughs> He could, first he got chewed out in Bishop's office. Then he got chewed out in Charity's office. God darn it, Aaron. You should have, man, you should have stayed in Montgomery. Yeah. In your one bedroom apartment. <laughs> eat, eat you, eat you so, some Totitos. <laughs> With ranch dressing. <laughs> you know, that's what bachelors do, man. Yeah. Eat Totitos and, um, so and crinkle you, fries. So you don't care about nothing. You don't care the sun don't shine. No. Shoot, run around and with your daddy, say you draw a tail. Which uh -huh. I ain't never heard that before. So then, let's talk about Zora the Weed Explorer and Isaiah the Church Player. That player, that player getting on my nerves. Was Isaiah high? He was something, because he coming up in there looking like Prince. <laughs> <laughs> when all the attention on him at, at this freaking, uh, what is it, what is it, cotillion. You supposed to be there making your woman look good, but you want to be spinning all around like a ballerina and booze get. <laughs> Talk about something. <laughs> yeah. They was like, okay, Hollywood. Yeah. And um, Sophia wasn't for it. She said, you know what? Your lady is the one that's supposed to be shining right now, but why are you taking her shine? So then Isaiah, the church player, he gets all in his feelings because he feels like nobody should be able to check him. See, he got, his head is so big, he can't even fit through the door. <laughs> so... He gets mad at Sophia because she checked him. And he storms out. Was like, you know what, Zora, if you're not going to check her, then I'm out. He gets outside. Zora follows him. They get to arguing. He tells her, look, it's about time that you choose me over her. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? See, that's what abusers do. Yeah. They try to isolate you from the very person that's going to stand up for you. Yep, and make you think it's all your fault. Uh-huh. And make you think that, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be ride or die for me. Yeah, if you worth ride or die for. But then this fool, he, they got into a little shoving match. And he shoved Zora so hard that her poor little head hit a pole. And I said, Zora. It's time for you to go. How many times has this man got to put his hands on you without putting his hands on you? Well, he put his hands on her this time. He did. The last time he slammed on the brakes and she hit her head on the goddamn dashboard. This time, he pushed her. And then they get, he go ahead and go through the, the apology that most abusers do. I'm so sorry. 
I, I'm just under a lot of stress. I said, okay, Ike Turner. Somebody called him that in the comments too. They was like, all right, little Ike Turner. But you know where she get it from? What? Her mama, Carissa. She do. She do. Yep. Because when Jacob was, was the player over at, at the church, messing around with all them women's, <laughs> abusing her, talking to her in the old kind of way, she ain't go nowhere. She sat there and she took it because she liked it, the benefits of being with a powerful man. Now and that's her daughter doing is doing the same, the same thing. thing. I said, well, oh well. He looked her up and down, say, I want you, you're the only one I want. And, and I just, you just make me lose my mind. And I said, they out here. And ain't nobody see, see this? that? Okay. Well, they going to be back together. This is the second time some booze kicked and happened at the, at the private school. First on power. Why they pay all that money? Yeah. Where the cameras at? And now on Greenleaf. Y'all better stop putting your kids in private school. Y'all uh -huh. better put them in public school. You, you paying six thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand dollars a month, and people ain't protected. What the hell is they, going on with this train? Yeah, they do a better job at the prison. You would think that we that the train was right here. Yeah, and matter of fact, the other day we said we ain't had the train a train long time. They make the train don't want us to be green. That's some bull. Anyway, so then we're back over at the Green um, Greenleaf Plantation. And we got this dinner table scene. Now, you know, Lionel Richie, he in town. They didn't want him to have to eat at the um, 999 buffet. So they invited him on over for dinner. You can clearly see by this time, First Lady is in her God doing feelings yeah. like never before. She revved up by this time. And boy. now Charity is over at the, on the, at the table too. She's still trying to convince her mama that going on this road is a good God doing thing. And she said, Merle South said that she can go. And but she's gonna have to split time and Tamala Man's assistant gonna help babysit the baby. First lady said, wait a minute, wait a god darn minute. <laughs> First, you wanna take this newborn baby out on the road, which I don't agree with. She said, second, wait a minute. Kevin left and left all of his obligations off on you. And now you want to go follow her behind Jabari in a pimped out bus. <laughs> I said, first lady, shut up. She said, because Kevin left you all in your feelings. Now you're trying to chase that with Jabari and it's not going to work. She said, but you know what? The funny thing is about us women. Oh, we can love and we can love some kind mm -hmm. of good and we can love hard. But the one thing about it is we can love and be stupid, stupid. too. And she turned around and looked at Lionel Richard and I said, I just called. And Bishop holds out. He was like, the hell is going the on hell is right going here? On? And she just going off on charity. Then she turned to Lionel and she said, and you. How dare you to be talking to your son the way that you're talking to him, coming down on him about a something that's in the Bible that isn't even really a law. But we need to talk about adultery. Those women that you, you were been. messing with. He's sitting over there like, is she talking to me in this manner? And Bishop is looking at her like, why? Where, 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 is, this, where is all this freaking aggression that's coming from? This sounds real. Yeah. Personal. Oh, yeah, it's real. Saying, like, um, now, uh -huh. the bad part about it, when, when Bishop told him that Lionel wanted to come down to meet and tell him something in person, she thought that he was coming to tell that oh, them two was, was still in love and they want to get married. And that's if they want to do. But she just knew she would get told on. But now, when you found out he got other women, you just about ready to expose your goddamn self. She told him, she said, you the last one that need to be on the judgment committee about this here. I said, well, you too, God darn it. Said, <laughs> you too. Yeah, you too. So then we see over at the, they still at the house. And evidently, Lionel is up doing some work in one of the quarters over there somewhere. She don't snuck out the bed with Bishop. Well, I don't think she was in the bed because she still was dressed. But it was late. And she got a glass of yak. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that yak started to have her turn way up. And she came in his um, quarters and she said, listen here. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? To be messing with other women. What we had was supposed to be special. Hey. And he said. But what we did have was special. You touched me like no other woman touched me. And you have put an imprint on my heart. That no other woman has ever been able to do. May you mean the world to me. She said. Did, did she you said, tell that? Boo, skit. Did you, you tell it to the other women? He said. 
sorta. She said you son of a bitch. <laughs> she said you the most disgusting. She, she hit him like this with the claw. You the most disgusting man. Do it again. She said the most disgusting man. <laughs> she hit him with that annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is clearly, you would have thought that Dan was mad. I said, she said, you know what? You get out of my house. You get out of my life. You basically could forget that I existed. Because said, I don't know what you, I don't want to ever, never, ever, ever want to see you again. So then Lionel Richard said, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your brother was rapist. Yeah. <laughs> your son-in-law, your sister's son-in-law was running around here and turned my son out. She said, you know what? On that note, get, get, no, mm -mm. She I, said, you ain't nothing but a shell of a man. Just hit this face and bones. I said, oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm so goddamn confused. Now, how in the world he gonna, Lionel gonna blame Kevin for your son? But that's how it go. Yeah. You, you know, you gotta, you gotta fight. You, you gotta, gotta fight. You, you, you gotta blame you yourself. You're in the heat of battle, so you gotta try to come back with something. So then, um, I feel sorry for First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks, man. Yeah, she got a bad dog. Skanks, Skanks left her and only took one pair of shoes. Now you know that ain't him. You know that ain't him. And he probably had them loafers on that he wore to church that Sunday. So I, I see her. I said either this ninja is on a run, Where you or, or Rockwaller them <laughs> kidnapped him. He downstairs like Jim was <laughs> hooked up to <laughs> to jump a case. <laughs> to jump a case. First lady, look, she ain't got no, ain't it, ain't it crazy how you can be surrounded by thousands of people but still be alone? Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Just think about that for real, for real. That's heavy right there. You yeah. can be surrounded by a thousand people and, and you are still alone. Yep. And she got a whole church that licked her up and down. First lady, we love you, we there for you, da, 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 da. But in the moment that her husband is not in that pulpit, she is by herself. Yep. So much so that she had to go over to Jacob's and Clarissa's to eat dinner with them. Mm -hmm. And they po try to make her feel better, but Clarissa is still pay playing these power moves mm -hmm. and all of this. You know, and uh, First Lady Skates was like, you know, I can do some things to make the transition a little easier. I can talk to the treasurer and get some things done. And Clarissa, because she's power hungry, was like, we got it. We got it. Right. First Lady Skates was like, and she just started crying. That TV came off pause. Wait a minute. I'm back. <laughs> so, first lady skates just started getting in her feelings and stuff, and they thought that she was in her feelings basically about losing the control. And that wasn't her thing. She just really misses her, her husband. husband. Yeah. And she was like, you know, she's very grateful that at least they are there for them. But this is the part that, that tripped me out, maybe because. I, I know about this world a little bit too much. Why was it that when this woman broke down, Clarissa's supposed to be first lady material, why you didn't go and comfort that woman? Mm -hmm. Why did your husband have to comfort a female to make her feel better in a situation like that? Mm -hmm. You ain't first lady material. Nope. Honey. And you just sitting there like, no, no, no. And you ain't even got to be first lady material to you do that. You just got to be a woman. Just be a woman. And go over there and, and comfort your sister. She but hurt she, she nobody just, else. She just, for all she's worried about is prancing around on the stage and, and, looking, and looking pretty in front of all them people. I hope she fall off the pulpit. <laughs> I don't like her. So after the dinner, Clarissa's still on her power kick. Hey, don't you think you need to um, move? Um, Whose office was it? God. The treasurer? No, no, she, no. Uh, First Lady Skank's office. Yeah. That's beside, that's beside the bishop's office. Yeah, said, so why don't you move her down the hallway to the office that used to be your office? Jacob was like, what? Clarissa, you're doing the most. This is too bad doing much. You need to pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. Take just one step at a time. But I got something in mind. That's better than that office. And he said, I've been thinking about this all oh, day. At the meeting. <laughs> when, I, when I was talking to the treasurer. When I was at dinner tonight, and they, I, they started playing my song. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> nothing even matters. 
Huh? At all. Huh? And, it's, it, and he said, my turn. It's my turn to pay <laughs> you back. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, I was over there and I seen Gigi and Darius and I said, I can't even sit her down. You can't even because she already said, I, matter, matter of fact, she already been downgraded <laughs> as the, over the outreach. Now when she's going to be downgraded too? Usher. Yeah, she need to usher. Yeah, she need to work. Yeah, she got to be the usher. Now she over there having sex with Darius. I said, Gigi. Yeah. Gigi. Gigi. Come here. I mean, let me talk to yeah. you. Let me talk to you. Don't tell nobody else I said it. But you been, you ain't had none in a while. Yeah. So. Yeah, cause uh. Don't uh, tell nobody I said it though. Cause what the, what the name is that, that ain't there no more. These be the scared of God. Oh, um, uh, no. No, yeah, he ain't gone. He ain't, yeah, I miss no. So he ain't there to, to, to put you up against the wall, so. Yeah. Darius ain't got that kind Darius of strength. Darius out of shape. He out of he shape, old. he got that kind of strength. You know, he, get, he need to do it on the couch. Yeah. You that, know. Where it's safe at. So yeah. when the knees give out on him, he already yeah. out. <laughs> you know he gotta put green alcohol on the knees before he goes to sleep yes. at night. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh what else happened? Um That's pretty much it. They oh were, they was crazy tonight, boy. So Bishop went ahead and walked um oh, and yeah. let you out. Cause Lavery said it's time for me to go on back. This meeting ain't go the way I thought it was. I'm gonna going go, back to Charlotte. And I'm gone. Bishop told him, he said, listen, before you go, I want you to leave with these words right here. Powerful words, too. He said, you need to accept that this is who your son is. Mm -hmm. And he said, at the end of the day, that boy is all you got left. That's all. And he's going to need you one day just as much as you're going to need him one day. Yep. So you need to figure this out. And I said, Bishop don't came to the yeah. light. Yeah. I said, you better go ahead, Bishop Greeley. Yeah, I, I meant to say this earlier. I, To me, I don't think the fact of the matter of Aaron being gay is the most hardest part. It's the part that he's a bishop and his son is gay. So he think that's going to be an embarrassment for him at the church. So people will be like, okay, you're supposed to be so powerful and so anointed, but your son is gay. They don't have nothing to do with two eggs on Christmas morning with the cookies out and Santa Claus eating the cookies up. That's what? like that didn't make no sense. <laughs> but your son being who he is don't have no make no difference of you passing the church or being the bishop of the church and or being a like, no, father. Yeah, it has no everybody has their thing. Yeah. So they don't have nothing to do with nothing. Bishop got his yak. Yeah. Never stop. <laughs> but first lady got her brown logo. So before um Lionel Richie left, he looked at Bishop and told um told Bishop said. Tell me, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Bishop said sorry for what? He uh, said, uh. We didn't get to speak before we leave. Bishop stood on that step looking like. Why? This some be. Mm-hmm. All right. I said, Bishop, when you go confront your wife? Yeah. When you go confront hopefully your wife? Ne hopefully next week. Mm. Like, did you and Lionel have something going on? Because when you go she was, tell this is the perfect time for you to confront her with her because she already pissed off. So you bring his name up. She gonna go in flames. Is it Faith and Gigi Lionels? Oh, cause if you look at it, they kind of fit. They the lighter ones. We ain't trying to divide the family, huh? But hey, it kind of fit though, ain't it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, all right, y'all. We got some chicken and some shrimp in there. We need to cook, cause I'm hungry. Yeah, gluttony straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, two, two down. down. Holla. Holla.